Today we're going to talk about fluorescence in diamonds. Uh, there seems to be a lot of discussion on the internet, on websites like Price Scope and different ones about fluorescence in a person's diamond. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? What is it? Uh, so we're going to start out by uh, trying to get a good picture of a, a large diamond that fluoresces and to, to give you an idea of what we're talking about first. Okay, now you'll see we have a, a diamond. We have it in a, in a um, dark box so you can get a good look at it with a, with a UV light above it, long wave ultraviolet light. Now if you notice when I turn it off, you see that it's glowing like a blue color. Um, now if I turn it off, you see how it just died right out. That's the diamond looking at it with no, just ambient light around it. Now I'm going to light it back up with long wave ultraviolet light and there you see what happens. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about fluoresce. That this diamond, when we put an invisible light source on it, like ultraviolet long wave light, that it actually then glows a color. Sometimes they, they'll, you'll see they'll glow uh, blue. Most of the time they'll glow blue. Sometimes they'll glow yellow, which is not good, and other colors. But predominantly blue is the one that's mostly seen. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about fluorescence. Well, now you can see we're, we're back with, the, with the, the ring that we had in the light box and it was glowing blue and then not blue and then back to blue again. Well, here it is in normal. The lighting in here is daylight and, um, and incandescent light. So um, it, you see it looks perfectly normal, perfectly fine. Um, what's interesting and what can be good about fluorescence is here is a diamond that is um, eye color, GI certified, and it is it fluoresces blue, it makes the diamond look considerably better in, in most lighting conditions, fluorescent light, daylight, um, and it, it makes it look white, white. So that it actually turns out to be a good thing. Um, all of the information I'm going to refer to now is really from Gemological Institute of America, the undisputed authority in our world, in the gem world, the diamond world, on, on gem phenomena, grading systems, all that. So, I mean, they are, without a doubt, the authority. So, I'm going to be quoting them pretty much. Uh, the, the intensity of fluorescence, like on a grading report, a GIA grading report, is what they usually qualify. They say it's either that it's either faint, it's medium, it's strong, it's uh, it's uh, it's very strong. So you know that, those are what we're, we in the gem business are looking for. Sometimes you can have a very strong blue fluorescence, and it's so strong that actually the stone can get to look a bit oily or uh, hazy. Uh, I've never personally seen that phenomenon, but I've read about it, and GI says it does exist. Just to give you some kind of idea um, how many diamonds fluoresce, the GIA says approximately 30% of the diamonds that they grade, that come through their grading laboratories, uh, are, do fluoresce some amount, either from very little to very, very a great deal. So um, of those, of those 30%, uh, they say that approximately 10% of those diamonds out of that 30%, uh, are, are strong enough fluorescence to have some effect on the visual appearance of the stone. Uh, and, and that could be a plus, not ne necessarily a negative. The, when they say an effect, they're meaning good or bad. So, um, and they also say that only 2% of all the stones that fluoresce actually have a negative effect. So that's a very, very small number. Uh, my personal experience is we once bought a, a large diamond out of an estate uh, we never checked it for fluorescence, didn't think much about it, but uh, it was really poorly cut. It was an old cut, so we had it recut. Didn't seem to improve the looks of the stone. Looked at it uh, in a fluorescent light box, and it, uh, it was really strong yellow fluorescence. That was a bad thing. That, that actually was very, uh, made the stone very dark and very undesirable looking. Uh, taught me a big lesson. So that so it does happen, but for the most part, the ones we're going to run into, you and I, out there in the world, is our blue fluorescent stones. Uh, a lot of times, I look for, for I look for stones that are fluorescent uh, because I think I think my and GIA thinks it makes them look better. Uh, it, it, but if you already have a stone that's DE or F color, 
hard to make that color improve by being fluorescence. So most people don't want fluorescence in a DE or F color. And I must agree with that. So to wrap it up, I mean, you know, GIA, General Logical Institute of America, says that 98% of the stones out there that fluoresce uh, have no derogatory uh, impact on the look of that stone. So that leaves a very, very small number because that's because that's only of the stones that fluoresce. So a lot of people get all bent out of shape about fluorescence because they really don't understand it. And hopefully this will give you a basic understanding uh, that it, for the most part, is a good thing. And once in a great while, it's not. Thank you.